And you are? Gwen Bauer, Internal Affairs. I received a request to look into your claims of innocence. By who? That's not important. Well, it seems the department has abandoned me or set me up. So I'm surprised you're even here. You should know that we operate separately and objectively from other law enforcement agencies. Are you objective? I like to think so, but of course I'm human. That's good to know, especially the human part. So, you say you're innocent, Mr. Bolin. Does it matter? Police officers may think of us as the rat squad, but I'm an officer of the law as well. The cops need to be watched almost as much as the criminals do. Fact is, I can help good cops just as much as it can bring the hammer down on the corrupt ones. Which are you? I am, in fact, innocent. It does appear some strings have been pulled in order to lock you up in the very same place where criminals you put away are doing time. <laughs> what are the chances? I'll be in touch. Wait, please, Gwen, Miss Bauer, listen to me. As cliched as this may sound, my grandfather was a cop. My father was a cop. He died in the line of duty. This is all I've ever known. It's in my blood. I would never, ever shame my family or the memory of those who passed before me. Believe me when I tell you, I've been framed. If that's true, if, I will do everything I can to clear your name and get you the hell out of here. No thanks. Max. Josh Benedict. You work here? No, I own it. You own it? Well, consider this your lucky day, Josh. Position filled. You don't even know what kind of help I'm looking for. Don't need to know. What I'm paying? Don't care. I just uh, got a little cash flow problem at the moment. But uh, I, I'm an expert on skateboards. So what do you say, Josh? Yeah, who's your favorite skateboarder? Uh, uh Tommy Eagle. Uh, Hawk. Tommy Hawk. Tony Hawk. He's pretty good. Yeah. After you stabbed Greg, you stumbled out into the San Gennaro Festival. You took what I taught you, and you killed Jared. Over what? Greg generated a fake memo, put it on a flash drive in Jared's pocket. He just didn't guess that you were going to get to him first. Do you know the two cycles of business? There's the kind I spent my life fostering, the virtuous cycle. And there's the kind Greg Thompson fell into, the vicious cycle. It's a choice we all make every day we walk into work. And what choice did you make when Greg attacked you? The one choice left. I defended myself. I think a jury will understand that. They'll look at me and my record and think. Find her. Well, she's from Yorkshire, from a poor family. We was lucky to find her. Hey, I'm feeling lucky. Easy movie, boy. You know, they're all wonderful girls and equally deserving. What, equally deserving of this? Wow. When do I get to meet them? We start at prelims tonight. I'll show you around later on. At the club? Yeah, I thought we'd do something different this year, a bit more Hollywoody. We've got to have dinner with the contestants tonight, and I want them to meet all the judges. Is she going to be there? Yeah, but it's hands off. Well, I can just look, can I? I don't know. Can you? Well, Wyatt Hart said you could help me get ready for my fight. You're Dalton, right? Yeah. Yeah, Wyatt called me about you. Sounds like you're in a shitload of trouble. Enlighten me. Well, in eight weeks, I'm stepping into the cage against Colin Wall. That guy's a monster. <laughs> Who'd you piss off? I have a fight left on my contract with the RFC and they're pulling me back in. Can you get me ready? Physically, yeah. 
But since you ain't fought in a while, I'm more concerned about getting you right up here. Look, as long as I survive the fight, I don't need to do any soul searching. Yeah, well, we'll see. So you ain't fought in like what, five years? Must a lifetime in this game. Look, if it's a money thing. Don't need it. No. I'm doing this as a favor to Wyatt. If you stick with it, I'll train you. But you need to know that I do things a little different. I'm in. All right, then. I want you to meet me at a bar called Bull McCabe's, 9 o'clock tonight. You know it? <laughs> well, we're going to be pounding some back. In a matter of speaking. All right. I'll see you then. He's a Chinese triad. He owns a warehouse downtown. He hangs out there all the time. I had a tip from a hooker who comes to the club. For sure. I'm sure. See what Axel did down in the yard? Yeah. Destroyed two guys in two seconds. And did you see how he did it? That guy's a machine. Just watch what was happening, step to the side, and bam! It was over. You should be my trainer, Irv. I don't think so. Come on, man. If I gotta get back in the cage, I'm gonna need all the help I can get. What I'm trying to say is, you really need to get back to your roots. Then use the best of each discipline. You see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You're training me already, Irv. We got another fight coming up, cop. Great. Warden says you can train in the yard, solo. Not solo. Not without my trainer. That's right. He needs his trainer. You're a trainer. Bro, the whole nine. Can't you just see it? Right, Danny? So, how long have you uh, been staying here at Dragos? Um, quite some time now. Uh, let's just say Dragos helped me out when I was going through a really tough time. Um, hello? Yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, I really have to get going, Joey. It's been, it's been nice to meet you. Wait, can't we I'm go? I'm sorry, I really have to go, but thanks. It's been really nice. 